Hello, Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on August 22nd, 2011, 1 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Topic Part 2 One Minute After the Rapture. I'm going to pick up and read the last paragraph that I read in Part 1 and go from there. Okay, it was also understood by him what the scripture meant that said the righteous would scarcely make it in and that is why each day remember each day they lived as though it was their last but not living it up kicking it up partying it up but kind of giving yourself an ad, ad, additive to your insurance in other words you want to live each day as it was your last so that last day you want to re be renewed by the word of God and you want to be in a constant state of repentance that's what I mean to say there if you're hearing and seeing this then that great and noble day has not yet happened. Then you can get things right now. Search the scriptures for understanding and don't be left behind. Don't be one of those who walked away from the truth only to find out it was the truth after all. Don't lean to your own understanding and settle for yourself that it doesn't require all the things that are set forth in the Bible. It does require all those things. you got to remember that. It seems today that many are giving their own meaning to holy and righteous living and fit it today to what they are able to, to do and to accomplish. They want to fit it into their lives and say well this should be sufficient when it's not sufficient if they feel that um, they want to do something about the word of God prohibits them then explain their actions under the definition of a loving God in other words if you feel like you got something there that prohibits a person no, 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 it's, there's no way. There's nothing that will prohibit you from coming to the Bible. Nothing. It's just something that you thought up. It's not biblical. Jesus wouldn't have died just for the heck of dying. So um, they simply changed the definition to suit their own condition. Just remember that the same God who loved the world so much that he sent his only son to die for it also created hell. And for all those who choose their own way, not God's way. Jesus Christ is the only way. Is the only way. No doubt, no doubt beings and butts about it Jesus Christ is the only way and um, find the solution to salvation find the road to salvation confess your sins repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of sins and believe when you do you will receive the Holy Spirit he will come into you. He will enter your body and he'll live in you. This is the damn payment that God promised you by the blood of his son and the death of his son. Only his son can bring you home. And when you accept Christ, he uses his blood to wash you. And when God sees you, he sees the Son of God. He sees 
someone that Jesus purchased. Try to remember that. It's, it's very simple and it's very, very critical. Um, everything that has happened in prophecy before the return of Lord of Jesus has happened. There's not one prophecy in the entire Bible that needs to occur. The next event is the rapture. There's not another event that'll happen. In fact, the next event cannot happen until we have been raptured. Because there are seals, there are trumpets, and there are vials, seven of each. Each one will start, or one will start the very, very instant that we've been raptured. And they'll progressively get worse during the first part of the seven year tribulation to try to get people, this is the good part. It wouldn't be happening if God didn't still have hope that people, you, were still there on earth in the tribulation. He knows that you still need to be saved, but it's going to be so much harder to be saved in the tribulation than it is now. Um, so I just wanted to run that one by you there. You see the condition of the world today. And I promise you each day, whether you hear about it or not, each day gets worse. And I'll tell you the ones you do hear. And I'll tell you the ones you don't hear. What you do hear is how many Iraqis died because of uh, suicide or bombs and on per persons or, or suitcase were pre prepared and blown up and killed a lot of people. You hear every one of those. Think of the number of people that dies every day in Iraq. Wow. What you don't know is more people in the United States die daily than they do in Iraq. That is so, so horrible. But you hear about Iraq, you don't hear about America. And it's not anything new, but it is. And, and so I'm going to drop all that. I'm going to get to one important thing right now. Again, the very next event, the very next event will be the taking away of the church. And when that happens, there's no more going out and sending people out throughout the world, you know, to uh, witness to people about Christ. There's no more to send missionaries Throughout the world, there is no need to send food and water to countries that desperately need it. We did it. We did it hard until we were removed. But now you can't do it. But what you can do, if these 21 plagues was not here, or they're here, but if they weren't for a reason then they wouldn't be here. But they are for a reason. The reason is you still have an opportunity to be saved right now and not even be here. Or if you are here, then you're going to know that you're left behind. And it's going to be the worst moment of your eternity. But cling to God. Refuse a mark of the beast. Stick together read the Bible, and God will still give you a crown of life. That is biblical. He loves you that much. Otherwise, it's over.